Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Galactic Civilizations 3 Retribution here in 2022. I'm playing this game for the first time, I got it free on Epic, and I have played Galactic Civilizations before, but I don't believe I've played the third one. I might have played the first one? Uh, so it's been some time since I've uh, played one of these games, but I really enjoy Stardock games, and so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we're going to start a new game and just dive right into it, shall we? Okay, so we get to choose our civilization, and we can be just a normal dude, the Terran civilization, uh, homeworld Earth, D.L. Bradley is the leader. We have some abilities, survey ship, diplomatic, hopeful, carbon-based life. We've got traits here, and we have a flavor description. And, um, or we could, like, I guess make our own civilization if we wanted to, but I don't really want to uh, right now, just as a new person. There's also uh, the Terran Resistance, and then there's, like, Onyx Hive, Iridium Corporation, Kryn Syndicate, Torian Regime. Whoa, okay. Um, Iconian Refuge. There's just a ton of uh, the Drath Legion. There's a ton of things happening here um, that we can deal with. And I'm going to just, you know... Uh, be the most basic for the first time I play this game uh, But let's see what what that means uh, Terrans are the inventors of hyperdrive and the youngest race on the galactic stage although committed diplomats Terrans have a militaristic streak that has taken many by surprise um, What about the resistance the Terran resistance is a portion of humanity that wasn't trapped on earth behind the precursor shield years on the run has made them resourceful but hard and formed a schism with the rest of humanity, which might take some time to heal. Okay, so I don't know what we're talking about with the Precursor Shield, or what that even means. Um, so I'm just going to be a regular dude. And we get Survey Ship that says, We begin with a Survey Ship that explores the galaxy and investigates valuable anomalies. That sounds nice. We're diplomatic, which means we can build the Galactic Council and start with a diplomatic bonus with all races. I like diplomacy and we're hopeful. Believes any civilization capable of space travel must be a potential friend. Oh, wow. Higher morale on planets. Okay. Carbon-based life. Um, we need farms. We're productive, plus one. We're adventuresome, plus one. So this helps our ships move farther from our borders. Uh, we're likable plus one, we're fast, and we're organized. Okay, that's fine. And let's see, set galaxy type. So I'm in kind of like the default setting. Um, game difficulty beginner. Um, okay. Uh, I am a beginner. I don't know what's going on. I'm pretty sure this is a 4X, but I, I will see when I get into it. Uh, galaxy size, medium, type, scattered, seven players, 18 max players. They recommend nine players. Um, interesting. Medium galaxy. Things are common. Um, do I really want to mess with this? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. And so I'm just going to play everything on default. All the victory options are on. Um, what are these, by the way? Let's know what these are before we start. So there's a conquest, of course. Influence. No need to fight when your civilization is the best. Right, right. Research. Yeah, this looks definitely like a 4X. Um, unlock the ultimate technological breakthrough. Ascension. Reclaim Ascension crystals and ascend to a higher plane. Nice. 
alliance, use diplomacy to bring peace to the galaxy, and defeat your foes before the time runs out. Um, yeah, I'll just play with all of that. We'll go with normal game pacing, that's fine. Um, and opponents, add random opponents. And we'll just add like two random opponents to the what they're selecting. And the reason I'm doing that is because I put nine players in because they said they recommended nine. Recommended system for this. Eight gigabytes of memory and uh, two CPU cores. All right, we got that stuff. We meet those. All right, good. And let's go ahead and start up. Now, I don't know if there's a tutorial. Maybe I should have played that, but I'm just going to lean on the fact that I think I played the first game and see if that's helpful. All right. The Terran Alliance. Um, despite being the youngest race in the galaxy, the Terrans are perhaps the most dangerous. Notably, it was their invention of the hyperdrive and decision to spread it to their neighbors, which led to the current arms race the galaxy finds itself in. Although Terrans present themselves as a peaceful and diplomatic people when they are drawn into warfare they possess an intuitive flair for violence and extreme willingness to exercise it although terrans find nothing strange about this dichotomy many of their galactic peers regard it as alarming and even duplicitous uh, strengths and weaknesses terrans are naturally adventurous with fast long-ranging ships their production capacity and diplomatic abilities are well regarded their ability to field large fleets is regarded with a bit more wariness, okay? So, um, yep, look at that hexagon right there. Okay, so I'm within a hexagon, uh, and this is our solar system. So there's Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Earth, uh, our sun, asteroid belt, um, and... At least I have some familiarity with uh, this part of the solar system. There's Mercury. Okay. Um, interesting. All right. So let me see what I've got going on here. I have uh, a population of five. I have zero food. I have three administration capacity. I have 5,000 uh, whatever the currency is. And Earth is currently producing 9.3 uh, rounded up production or construction per turn, 8.4 research, 23 income, we have 61% approval, and our population could go up to 10. Our influence is also 10. Okay. Um, interesting. All right, so this is the TAS Discovery which is, uh, I'm zooming in here just to kind of get a look at this ship. Oop. Um, oh, okay, so tab goes to technology. Interesting. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I want to just look at the ship as much as I can. Interesting. All right, yeah, you can click and drag to move around. Yeah, the ship looks great. It's very much like a uh, Star Trek ship, except it has these kinds of engines churning here underneath the wings I suppose and let's go ahead and tell this guy or gal the TAS discovery to go discover so let's command it and let's say uh, we'll attempt to go and find anomalies let's go survey okay good so that's doing surveying and now it has a green swirly around it which hopefully means it's doing something and um, let me push tab then. And this is Earth. And this is what's going on. Oh, wow. So on the planet itself, I have tiles to build things. Kind of like Civ. Interesting. Um, this is a dimensional mirror artifact improvement. Upgrade this artifact to unlock charges that will reveal a portion of the galaxy. Okay. Um, am I doing that? I don't know. I clicked on it. We're doing dimensional mirror study, which will apparently take um, three turns to complete. But they're recommending that um, we do some other stuff instead, I think. Oh, no. 
This is just alphabetical order. Um, there is no advisor currently. Um, this is going to get done fast. And so I'm going to just research that. Here's a natural wonder. Attractions built here will draw tourists from the furthest reaches of the galaxy. Well, that's pretty hilarious. Okay. Um, good. Govern planet. What does this mean? Um, direct control. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do direct control for now and not just offload this to, uh, you know, delegate this to some AI because I only have one planet. Um, upgrade. Oh, gosh. I didn't. Um, I'm upgrading the planet, apparently. Did I do that? What's happening? Um, now I don't even know what's going on. Um, okay, done. I guess we are currently doing dimensional mirror study. That's correct. Three turns for that. Uh, manage. No, this is where we were. Uh... Okay, here's our shipyard. And do we want to build a ship? Uh, I think we should build a scout. Maybe an explorer. And I can go on a treasure hunt mission. Let's build an explorer. Um, build the ship. It's going to cost me what? Uh, 49 construction. Okay, build it. And now, um... Do I want to build, like, a colony ship? Not really. Let's build a scout. I see I have, um... Items under construction, survey ships. So these, my administration capacity is how many things I can do per turn, I guess. Base administration is taking four. Um, okay, let me go back and let's do some other things. Oops. Oh, I'm pushing tab, which is, I guess, ending the turn. Hmm. Okay. Here's my shipyard. Yep, we're building that. Um, let me go into... Uh, Civilization. Alright. Citizens. I only have one, I guess. Uh, this dude. Artifacts. We're working on the dimensional mirror that we found. Okay. Um, summary. Planets, ships, shipyards, star bases. I don't think I have any star bases. I have a shipyard. I have one ship. I have... Mars, but it's barely habitable. Um, can I go into that? I can go into Earth, but that's it. Um, we're still working on this. Okay. And... Uh, oh, why did you disappear? That, I didn't mean for that to happen. Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they are apparently doing artificial gravity as the research they're working on right now. And this will allow us to unlock the hyperspace project, give us moves and administrators. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Do that. Um, okay. And I'm just going to end the turn. Press... Oh, it's press tab to end the turn. Okay. That's what Tab does. All right, great. And he's checking out this one here. Here's my influence, I guess, the uh, blue line around the hexes immediately surrounding my planet. And I could be doing some other stuff because I have some more administration left. So there's a very good chance that I should be building more ships. So I'm going to build another scout. Oh, no, but it doesn't take any extra administration. They, they can't do more than one at a time. I would need another shipyard altogether. I see. Um, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and then on Earth, is there anything I want to do here? 
No, let me manage it. Mm -hmm. So you're working on that. Um, the colonization center. Interesting. Cancel? Okay, I canceled that. I guess we build it here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then they want us to build a computer core here. That's what they're recommending. Um, to give us some research. Yeah, do it. And then the industrial center. I'm just taking all of the recommended places and just kind of queuing this up for now. And um, then we'll just... We don't have enough food yet uh, for anything else. So let's just go ahead and zoom out. And tab. First anomaly survey. Your ship cautiously approaches the mysterious object all sensors set to maximal gain. A secret of the universe, the first of many, is about to reveal itself to you. Wow, that looks pretty impressive. Um, Alright, so we got an anomaly discovered. And um, cargo pods. Where did these cargo pods stuffed with goods worth a literally astronomical amount of money come from? Where are their owners? Why did they abandon them? None of these questions have profitable answers, so there's no reason to ask them in the first place. We'll just take five experience points and a hundred treasury. All right, sure. Now, what are you up to? Let's go ahead and give you... Go ahead and keep doing... Um, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Surveying is great. Um, I'm just going to push tab. This is where they're going, over here. Two turns for our explorer. Artifact got finished, looks like. The dimensional mirror. This precursor artifact was left here for unknown reasons. It allows us to see a given area of space in great, great detail. Yeah, use it. Um, select any tile to use the power. Uh, I'd kind of like to just check nearby. So, let's just look here. First artifact power used. This galaxy has been the home of alien intelligence for billions of years. More things have been invented and forgotten than we have ever learned, but not this. This, whatever it is, will be ours. You issue the command and energy begins to flow through it. All right, we built the dimensional mirror and now we can see over here. And what do we see in this area? There's a planet um, that is called Bullwinkle the Third. That is awesome. Bullwinkle the first. This is Bullwinkle. This is the Bullwinkle system. Now, I'm ignorant of uh, space astronomy. I, I mean, I'm interested in it. I like it. But I don't know if this is uh, randomly generated stuff or if there is legit a nearby sun named Bullwinkle that I need to know about. All right. But what I don't see is anything bad. This planet is it's a corrosive world, uh, which is bad. But this is a class 10 planet. And it has low gravity. But it's this is not good for carbon-based life forms. Okay. So I'm just kind of make. I was just really making sure there was nobody near me coming to kill me. Hey, look at this. Our scientist has completed artificial gravity. We are not able to generate gravity, but rather channel it. By doing so, we can make off-world living much more productive fantastic um okay let's choose a new technology to research and they recommend um colonial administration and this would let us maybe build a city and give us plus one administrators and i can see how that would be actually extremely helpful so uh go ahead and do that and let me make sure that that is what we're... Uh, we've got our artifact. We already used it, so hopefully that badge will clear. Oh, we can use it again? What, every turn? Wow. All right, yeah, check it out. Uh-oh, what's this red thing? Oh, it's, it's a resource. Durantium. Awesome. Oh, my. That's a black hole. Steer clear. And this is McDarnit. Now that has to be... I wonder if these are like... Player-named places or something. That's funny. Um, 
Anyway. Okay, so nearby us is McDarnit. Um, our civilization is doing this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Citizens, just me. Um, and we're doing colonial administration. We found some cargo pods. That's fine. Um, let me see what's going on in my shipyard, actually. Um, okay. Uh, we got two turns left till we finish that. Alright, I'm gonna push tab. Survey, lost and found. The scorched and pitted exterior of this abandoned cargo pod give the impression that its rightful owners are unlikely to return for it in this life. It would be a shame to let the valuable goods inside go to waste. It's always a shame, isn't it? Alright, great. And what is this, by the way? Approval relic. Approval relics increase colony morale. All right, well, we like this. Build a Xeno archaeology module on any nearby starbase to study this precursor relic. All right. Um, okay. Wow, look at this. Looks awesome. Looks like some robot fingers with uh, syringe needles at the top just dancing around this uh, purple explosion of light. Fascinating. Okay. And uh, I can push tab again, I guess. Oh, cool. We've got our explorer. All right. Let's go ahead and command this to also survey. And there we go. Whoa. Wow. You found anomalies really far away. Um, oh, let's go ahead and use our artifact. Oh, no charges left. Okay. Well, we'll see when it gets charges. New turn. And, okay, we finished our research. And we have one turn left. All right. Um, colonial administration. The Department of Colonization has been created to administer the new colonies. Our scouts are finding that these worlds are not often fully compatible with our form of life. Right. This new department is set up to better identify what kinds of things to expect on these worlds and how to best utilize them. Okay. That seems important. Um, the Universal Translator will allow us to talk to aliens. Yeah, we need that right away. Let's talk to aliens. That sounds perfect. Um, and it, it will unlock the Galactic Council. Paxton's Emporium... Um, we can open borders, and these are some treaty options, and we also get another administrator. All right, yeah, that's good. Do that. And then we're, we're still building a scout. Okay. All right, our administration capacity is still high. I'm going to go to the next turn. And meanwhile, Precursor Artifact. We have come across an ancient artifact near Earth believed to have come from an ancient Precursor civilization. Upon activating it, it has evaluated our status and offered aid to us. Wow, well, thank goodness. Um, we can have it transform into a scout ship. Uh, and it gives us plus five benevolence. And we get a scout ship, or we can look at the, its sensor log to review, uh, review nearby space. Plus five pragmatic, plus six sensor range for our colonies. That's pretty big. Or we can convert it into an army of robot slaves to work for on our planet. And we get malevolence points. I mean, if they're robots, is it malevolent? I guess so in this case. We get plus one population. Um... I want to be benevolent, and I want a scout ship, so I'll take it. So we got a free scout ship, apparently. And let's see. We found a debris field, and this appears to be the remains of some sort of vessel. Within the debris, we find a moderate collection of valuable ship components and rare elements after a thorough survey. Curiosity may often be dangerous, but it's also regularly profitable. Indeed. Cargo pods. 
Where did these cargo pods stuffed with goods worth a literally astronomical amount of money come from? All right, so we got another cargo pod, and we got um, a debris field, okay? Now, this is our new scout, and we're going to command it to uh, explore. And then this scout also finished, and we're going to command it to explore. And our shipyard is doing nothing, so let me manage it. And let's go ahead, and they want us to build a constructor, I think, um, to build a star base. And we do want to do that, because um, I want to build a star base near the Precursor Relic, so we can examine it. Alright, I'm going to build the constructor. And now you can see that our administration capacity did go down, because we're building something, and we have two survey ships going. It looks like exploration ships do not require any administration. Like the scouts. It's week 10 in 22-43. Alright. Um, I'll go ahead and pass the turn again. We got uh, Miss... Oh! First citizen, Rochelle Ogunyemi from Plymouth, North America has risen above all peers to become a galactic citizen. Now you can train this citizen into an ever-increasing number of specializations that will help shape the destiny of your civilization. So I don't know what this means, first citizen. Um, so this must mean we have a new person up here. And we can give them some, you know, abilities to help govern Earth. So when it says up here population, this is not telling me how many citizens I have, because I, I now I just have two. This is like an overview of our global population. And then when people become awesome, I guess, like great people or something in civilization, they become citizens. All right, so let's train her. She could be an administrator, a worker, or a scientist. Um, administrators provide five points for administration, which in turn are consumed by survey ships, colonies, and star bases. I see... Um, workers boost your civilization's social construction by 3%, or you can settle them on a colony and boost social production by 30%. Scientists will boost your civilization's research by 3%, or you can settle them and boost them by 30% instead. Okay. Um, huh. I have to say this is an interesting choices. Um, my administration capacity is okay at the moment. So, I'm just going to make her a scientist. I don't know if this is smart or not. Train. And, um... She is working for the government. So, she is giving a... Uh, 3% boost. But what if I transfer her to Earth? And now, she's on Earth. And... This should be boosting our research by 30%. I'm hoping. Okay. Um, yep, 31% re research bonus. And she levels up in nine turns. And he's providing a 6% um, social construction bonus. But we don't have anyone for training, so we're done. Okay, cool. So, Universal Translator should get done a little faster than normal. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. Alright, our scouts are exploring the Fog of War. And, whoa, we found some serious stuff. What is this? This is a Ascension Crystal. Capture and study Precursor Ascension Crystals to learn the secret of ascending to a higher level of existence. Um, interesting. Okay, so we really need to build these Xeno... Uh, archaeology modules whenever we can get them. And he's done with the Universal Translator. Every time he finishes something, he pulls his glasses up so he can see your face. Intense study of the fragments of alien text and speech has allowed us to create a Universal Translator that will let us communicate with any new races we come across. Alright, so let's choose a new tech. And they're saying settlements, um, which will allow us to do research missions, factories, or search, and that all seems important. Um, but what if I wanted to build um, 
spaces. Mm, you know, star bases. Uh, let's build colonial settlements. Let's start spreading out. If it's a 4X, we got to expand. We're in the age of expansion, by the way. It's time to expand. Okay, so we're doing um, colonial settlements. And we found some uh, mysterious hardware that gave us 15% research on our translator. And we found some more cargo pods. These are the anomalies. Um, oh, our star base. Oh, it's building the constructor still. Phew, I was like, uh-oh, I hope you're not empty. No, it's building stuff. Great. So, um, I don't think um, with Mars, it's barely habitable. Can I do anything to this? I might need to, like, try to colonize it or terraform it or something uh, to so that we can live on Mars. But right now, we've explored a little bit. Is our artifact ready to go yet? No, there's no more um, charges left. Okay, I thought maybe I could do this every turn. I kind of was a little bit poor with my decision-making then on how to use those charges, but, you know, it's my first time. So we have our ships. This is going to an anomaly. This is going to an anomaly. These are just scouting out areas. Um, this scout is, rather. Where's my other scout ship? Let me go to uh, my ships, and let me find my other scout. Where are you at? Right here. Okay, and you're going to go over here. Cool. So, we have uh, all sorts of operations happening. We have a lot of bureaucratic space with our administration capacity. And we're researching uh, colonial settlements. And I'm really enjoying this game so far. It is, you know, a hexagonal 4X. Like, so all of the civilization stuff applies in some ways. But boy, there is a lot of complexity and depth uh, to make this all its own. And I already know that I've made tremendous mistakes and don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. And I enjoy the look and feel of the game. I'm curious to know what you guys think of this game. Have you played it before? Do you recommend it? Do you have any advice for me as a new player? Am I doing things um, reasonably well, or am I completely ruining my chances of having any chance of victory? I'd like to know your impressions if you've never played the game before. Give me your comments uh, below and we can talk about this uh, cool game that is at least of the filming of this video free on Epic. Everyone, I hope you have an excellent evening or day. If you did like the video, please give the video here a like. It uh, helps the channel tremendously. I will check you guys next time. Take care.